You can be the best possible candidate for a job and still be considered unqualified by an applicant tracking system. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to look at a job posting, find all the right keywords, and then at the end, incorporate them into your resume so that you are deemed a great fit. So today we're playing the role of Sarah Morrison. We are an HR director and we're searching for a new job. The first keyword to keep in mind here is the name of the actual position that you're applying for. So you can see here, human resources business partner, human resources director, human resources manager, HR generalist. These are all different titles for very similar positions. However, when ATS is scanning to see if Sarah has the experience for this job, it will be looking for the exact title of the position. So I opened this job here, HR generalist at Airbnb. Even though she has 15 plus years of experience, if she doesn't have this phrase, it might not think that she's a fit. So where can you add that title on your resume? My first tip here is add a headline to your resume. For instance, at her current job, Sarah is a human resource director. She also has that in her summary. So to incorporate HR generalist, you could add that right here in her title. You can also add that to her summary if you want it in both places. These are simple fixes to work in that name of the position. This would be really helpful. Another thing you can look for in your experience is a place to more naturally work it in. So here, Sarah has oversees a team of five across all HR areas. You could add HR generalist areas. Great, so the next step is to take a closer look at the job description and find the actual skills that you're gonna to wanna to incorporate as keywords and phrases in your resume. Most jobs have a couple sections that will always give you the right keywords and phrases. One of them is typically called something like about you. Now here, right in this first bullet point, I see a ton of keywords. Deep experience in and knowledge of core HR disciplines, including keyword, 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 keyword. So these are specific phrases that we wanna make sure are in Sarah's resume. You can always work these keywords into your bullet points, but if the idea of restructuring that and editing your experience section seems daunting, or maybe you're in a hurry and this job application is due today, one trick is to add an expertise section. This is one of my favorite things to add to a resume because it's great for ATS, but also for employers who are quickly scanning. So you see right here at the top, someone looking at Sarah's resume will know immediately what her strengths are. So recruiting was a keyword we wanted to make sure is in here. Sarah has hiring, which might be great for another job, but for this one, we want recruiting. So we're gonna put that there. You can also work them into your summary. You can see if it's anywhere else in the body of your resume. If you do a quick control F, we can see, is this word anywhere? Great, oh, she has it a bunch of times on page two. That's awesome, her bases are covered with recruiting. Just a quick word of caution here, this is not me telling you to cram every possible keyword onto the page. Even if that might work and you get through ATS and it lands on an employer's desk, they'll know that you're just stuffing this with keywords. So I would advise adding no more than 10. And again, this is why we're customizing. We didn't need to have hiring and recruiting here. So another keyword you'll often see on a job description is a particular program or software that the job requires. On this one, I'm seeing experience using Workday is highly preferred. Rather than taking up prime real estate at the top of your resume in your expertise section, you can create a separate technical skills section closer to the bottom. Here, I worked in Workday because that was included. Other jobs might be asking for Microsoft Office Suite, whatever they're looking for, you can include those systems here. Ooh, this is something that a lot of people might miss. A lot of times a job description will use an acronym rather than the long form of a keyword, like SEO for search engine optimization. To cover your bases, it's great to put search engine optimization and then in parentheses the acronym SEO. On this job description, I see that they have BA or BS degree. Another job might list it as Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science. So on your resume, under education, for instance, you can put Bachelor of Science and then in parentheses, BS in business administration. 
all your bases are covered. Now it's critical to remember that ATS is not your final audience. At the end of this, the employer is the one that you want to impress. ATS is just the gatekeeper. Yes, it's important to get through ATS to earn that high ranking, but it's the employer that will be moved by the way that your resume is crafted. I made a video all about how to elevate your resume content, so check that out. And if you're still here, you could give us a like.